Good morning, guys. Good morning, Winston. How did you sleep? Welcome to the Diary of a Creative Weirdo. Hey, friends, subscribe. <sighs> okay. Not too bad. All right, I got my coffee. Look who it is, my baby. Oh, good morning, Roxanne, the Too Faced girl. All right, guys, so you know that we normally do interior design videos. And on my social media, I get so many questions from you guys on Snapchat and Instagram. And oh, by the way, follow me. Doop, doop. And on Twitter, too. Doop. I get so many questions about like, Style stuff, beauty stuff, makeup stuff, etc. So I thought I'd start a vlog series and call it Diary of a Creative Weirdo where I can share with you guys the behind the scenes of all the aesthetic expressions. So this is the first one of those and I'm doing my skincare routine. I thought I could wake up in the morning with you guys and share with you my AM skincare routine. I'll also tell you about my PM skincare routine as I'm doing my AM skincare routine, but it's pretty much the same. Actually, I'm doing this in partnership with number seven, which when they asked me if I wanted to do a video with them, I was like, yes, please, because I already use one of their products and I love it. We're gonna go wash our face together. <laughs> All right, let's head on into our bathroom. Yes, yeah, so you can see this whole bathroom transformation in our OMG We Bought a House series. All right guys, I'm gonna let my head do the talking now because this will go a lot smoother and faster and also I won't risk getting any cleanser in my mouth. Cool? Okay, cool. Oh wait, actually first, let's do a skin assessment, shall we? This is me with zero makeup on, zilch, totally au natural. I usually have dry skin and not too many breakouts, although what is this on my cheek? I do have blackheads on my nose that I'm always kind of struggling with, but I found some things that help that. As I'm filming this video, I'm actually two days away from my 34th birthday, so I do have some small wrinkles around my eyes and on my forehead, you know, the usual. But wait, pause the video. This is where I need to do a disclaimer. In my opinion, skincare should be about having the best skin for whatever age you actually are. You know, not trying to appear as something you're not. And I can honestly say I am happy with the skin I have now with my tiny wrinkles and all because I know I take care of my skin and it's the best it can be for me. Okay, my disclaimer is done. Thank you for listening. Unpause. So let's get into all the skincare deeds. About two years ago, I got some advice from a dermatologist that has really helped me a lot. I cleanse my skin with a sonic face brush twice per day because she told me this agitates the collagen layer, which basically makes it keep reproducing because as you age, you produce less collagen. So it just helps reinvigorate that growth so you can always have fresh looking skin. With the Sonic Face Brush, I use a creamy hydrating cleanser because my skin tends to be dry. If it's during my evening routine, I will pre-wash my face to get all the makeup off and then I will use the brush again with some more cleanser. a hydrating face mist, otherwise known as a hydrosol. It just further hydrates my skin after cleansing, so I'll usually just pat in the mist, and once my skin is dry, I'm ready to move on to the next step. Guys, serum is where it is at. I have been using the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum on my entire face, neck, and chest. This stuff is pretty magical. It's been clinically proven to make your skin tone more even, reduce wrinkles, which, you know, we are okay with wrinkles, but Let's reduce them a little bit, sure, fine. And I've noticed my skin feels bouncier since I've been using it. I will sometimes finish off with an eye cream dab gently under my eyes using my forefinger. You know, the gentle finger. I don't know, that's what they say. Anyways, especially when my eyes are feeling a little extra puffy or dry. Another thing I will do, but only twice a week in the evenings, is I use a Retin-A Micro. It's a prescription I got from my dermatologist, and it's really strong, so I literally use the tiniest little droplet. Sometimes I'll mix it with a heavier moisturizer because it can make you peel since it's so strong. Guys, I'm obsessed with chapstick. This one's gigantic, it's the size of my face. I need lots of chapstick because I hate peely lips. To further prime my skin for makeup, I will dab on a little bit of oil primer on my cheeks, forehead, and chin. I always use sunscreen in the morning after my serum. And then if I'm going out or shooting a video, I will use the number seven Lift and Luminate Foundation, which has broad spectrum SPF 15 
and it also smooths on really naturally. You can see it's just kind of going on very sheer, which is perfect for me as I am not into heavy foundations. I don't really like that cakey look. Oh, and also to find my perfect foundation shade, I actually used their virtual match made app with the skin tone analysis card and I found my perfect shade and it's pretty cool how accurate it is. My shade is Cool Vanilla, if you're curious. And now there's no risk of my face being a different color than my neck. That said, I will put it on my neck and chest too because I want the SPF there as well. Sometimes I also put it on the back of my hands. So that's pretty much it for my morning skincare routine. For my evening routine, I will do the same cleansing, hydrosol, serum, and eye cream, etc. And, you know, brush your teeth, guys. So now that my skin is smooth and even, I'm gonna finish with the rest of my makeup and do a natural look because when my skin is luminous and bouncy, I really don't feel like I need to go too crazy with everything else. You know what I mean? So let's speed up the rest of this makeup part because I'll do other vlogs where I show you guys my makeup routine. My makeup is done. I didn't put on any false lashes or anything. I've got a casual day, so let's pick out an outfit, shall we? Okay, outfit time. Here are some vintage jeans. I'm obsessed with these. They're the like old Levi's that they redo to make like cuter and not all baggy. And I think I'm gonna pair it with this acid wash denim top, like different tones of denim, because why not? And then some shiny silver boots. I love these. Look at this little tiny heel, it's so small. And I love how they're pointy. And then some Mr. Kate jewelry, of course, and cuffs and a necklace that I think I'll double up, and it's just gonna be a casual look. All right guys, and here's the outfit on, you know, just a casual vintage denim, shiny shoes, rolled up sleeves, bracelets, yes. Okay, I have to go to work. I'm gonna end this vlog here. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments what you wanna explore with me, style, accessories, beauty. As far as all the products go, you can check out the Mr. Kate blog where I have a lot of links and lists and things to the products and stuff that I love and use. So check that out, mrkate.com, and follow me on social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, and Facebook. Love you guys, love you creative weirdos. Peace out. Mwah. Bye! Mr. K! I mean, this is why it takes me so long to get out of bed. Because I wake up next to this cutie boy. What a good boy he is. Yeah! Yeah. He always agrees with his own compliments.